good morning to all today we are going to discuss our unit 3 unit 3 name is flood under draft so now we are going to move the next part of the unit 3 definition of drafts a meteorological and hydrological so the definition of drafts a meteorological hydrological the course outcome of this topic is on the successful completion of the course student will be able to assess the flood and drought risk in in terms of hazards and vulnerability and analyze the measure for mitigating and managing such risk that is in analysis so now the course outcome of this correlated with program outcome 2 3 6 7 and the program specific outcome 1 so the draft so draft is defined as a period in which a region has a deficit in its water supply whether surface or underground water so see the right side of the picture okay so it's clearly shown about the draft a draft can last for month or years or may be declared after as few as 15 days so generally this occurs when a region receives constantly below average precipitation so drought a drought is an extended period of dry weather leading to extreme dryness this result in a shortfall of water supply which has hydrological and agricultural impacts drought is different from most other hazards as it's develop slowly as a creeping hazards hardity and desertification are associated with drought but they are not the same drought is characterized by moisture level below normal for the area affected some of the commonly used definition the conceptual are the world meteorological organization 1986 drought means a sustained extended deficiency in precipitation the un convention to combat drought and desertification in 1994 drought means the naturally occurring phenomenon that exists when precipitation has been significantly below normal records levels causing serious hydrological imbalance that adversely affect land resources production systems the food and agricultural organization 1983 of the united nation the percentage of years when crops fail from the lack of moisture so the drought classification the droughts are generally classified operational definition into four categories so in will height and glance in 1985 american meteorological society 2004 which include meteorological hydrological agricultural and socio economics the meteorological drought the meteorological drought is usually defined on the basis of the degree of dryness in comparison of some normal or average amount and the duration of the dry periods definition of meteorological drought must be considered as specific to a region since the atmospheric conditions that result in deficiencies of precipitation are highly variable from region to region hydrological drought hydrological drought is associated with the effect of periods of precipitation including snowfall shortfalls on surface or subsurface water supply that is stream flow reservoir and lake levels groundwater the frequency and severity of hydrological drought is often defined on a watershed or river basin scale the effect of precipitation shortfalls on stream flow and reservoir lake and groundwater levels the natural climate variability so see the precipitation definition is in c amount intensity and then timing so it is reduced infiltration uh, runoff deep percolation and groundwater research whereas the high temperature high winds low relative humidity greater sunshine less cloud cover so here increased the evaporation and the transpiration so it both combined with the soil water deficiency so whereas plant water stress reduced biomass and yield
whereas this one reduced stream flow inflow to reservoir lakes and ponds reduced wetlands wildlife habit so all together into social impact from here this will be having the environmental impact and economic impact so due to that time duration so see in the initial stage it is a metrological draft then it will be coming to the point like agricultural draft then finally it is a ideological draft so this flow charts clearly show that how the natural climate variability from one place to some other place it will be shown very clearly so the draft damages direct loss of income social dislocation famine and malnutrition death indirect loss of rural and urban revenues fire hazard loss of water access so the drop causes can be classified in two way these are natural and human made through the natural global warming deficiency of rain water weather like hot and dry hell neo soil erosion from human made our population our cultivation deforestation our extraction of ground water then politics politics so these are the reference material thank you